Hello everybody, MechFrog here. Today we're going to do a quick little video. It's not going to be anything formal. There's no script written. It's all going to be off the cuff. We're going to look at the expansion set 2 from Monument Hobbies with Pro Acro Paint. There you go. Picked it up the other day and there were some requests concerning uh, how those translucent paints look on a model and decided I would paint up some test models for you. And we'll kind of show them off and uh, talk about the ones that kind of jumped out as, as really, really good ones here. Uh, the first, this transparent blue. I'm always on the lookout for another blue. It's transparent. And you got two, two options here for two mechs. Uh, the first one here is chrome base coat. And then I hit the legs with the blue. And you can see it's a nice vibrant blue. good coverage and this is over a lighter sky blue pro aqua paint on the literally sky blue and we've got our neck there it looks it's a little bit more subtle a shade there but it it, uh, it definitely shows up so very good blue I'm gonna definitely hang on to that for uh, the future uh, next up purple transparent purple there and so uh, you, these are going to have lots of different uses, not just for painting legs of battle mechs, but I figured this would be the best way to show uh, show off that effect. And then it's not a not a hard and fast color. It's going to play off of whew, look at that auto focus. Whew, wow. Okay, it's going to play off of whatever's underneath it. So your base coat's going to matter. Lots and lots of different uses for translucent paint. There you go. Another good one, purple, pretty vibrant, good color. All right, next up is the transparent green. Good stuff. So we have a blue base, and then I did a copper. I kind of want to do a whole lance of this one now. It's kind of like a... Tarnished copper. But again, very vibrant, good colors. Something Pro Acro is known for is that uh, pigment pigment density. It's good stuff. All right, I did my first little test model on what work. All right, so the reds. This was transparent red over a yellow, which gives you a nice transition from yellow orange to red. It's one of my favorite things to do with the airbrush on a mech when you're using those two colors. And then using the copper again on the legs. Good stuff. Again, I want to do whole hats out of those too. Alright, and the last little grouping here, and I'll talk about the other ones that I didn't use, but I think could have a use later on. Um, this was the transparent black on yellow. It did not go very dark, so it really came off kind of like a dirty, dirty color of whatever is underneath, in this case yellow. So I could probably, if I wanted to darken that up, just go over it again with multiple layers, but this is just a single layer through the airbrush. Good stuff. And the last test model I have is with the transparent yellow over chrome. And you know, if you've worked with yellows, they can be challenging. But the pigment on this is really good. And turn that chrome a nice yellow, metallic yellow. Not something you often see on a neck, metallic yellow. All right, the other colors we did not use. The transparent orange, I figured you would get a kind of hint of that with the the red and there's a transparent brown did not did not use and then there's also a transparent white um, I'm gonna have to play around with these and kind of figure out how how am I going to use the transparent white um, it could be interesting uh, maybe some sort of snow effect uh, going on there but it's a uh, it's a neat set so far I'm gonna have a lot of fun playing around with it experimenting we'll see what we can get out of it and make some mechs that are uh, looking pretty cool if you haven't used Pro Acro before, they are 
really nice quality paints. We have easy to know names, golden yellow, sky blue, orange, agent, agent orange. And yeah, so very, very high density in uh, pigment color. And if you've used, this is my favorite white of all time, the bold titanium white, um, almost single coat coverage over black. It's like 95% there, but then that second coat, you have a bright white on the top. So if you like to base coat your miniatures in a dark color, but then want to do white, that might be worth looking into. It's the best I've ever used. I've used Citadel and some of the Army Painter white and all of the other options. They, they don't even come close to this, so uh, worth checking out. All right, so if you have any questions about any of the Pro Aqua paints, drop them in the comments below. Um, I will certainly do my best to answer them. And uh, that's that. So go out there and make the world a slightly better place today and tomorrow.